Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. We're so grateful how God has brought us into this new week. It's the last day in this month of February, and we're so grateful. Thank you again to all of you who watched us and who celebrated with us in our time of worship on yesterday. Continue to like, share, and we will look forward to sharing with you. Today in Black History, on February the 28th in 1932, Richard Spikes, he was the inventor and he patented the automatic gear shifter. He went on not only to patent that one gear shifter, but he patented six other patents that were somewhat related to it. What a wonderful inventor he was and how he made the world a better place. Today, if you would look with me into the Word of God out of Psalm 35, verses 11 through 28, a very powerful psalm that we hear. It's a psalm that's pretty interesting because he begins to talk about um, all of those people who are malicious witnesses against him. This is a psalm, one of the psalms of David, where David finds himself in a unique situation whereby he's accused of crimes and he's accused of so much. And because of all these accusations, he feels as though the world is totally against him. You know, it's amazing how in David begins to talk about all of his trouble, he starts to enumerate them. He starts to talk about how troubles are on every hand. And I love that great psalm that says that even though trials may come on every hand, I feel like going on. That's one thing that we can notice about the life of David. David found himself sometimes getting himself into predicaments, but yet and still God's hand was still on his life. David found himself having it, what appeared to be enemies all around him, but God's hand was still on his life. Even though David found himself in this precarious situation, God's hand was still on his life. Today, I want to remind all of us, regardless of the things we do or don't do, the Bible tells us that those of us who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. There will always be someone who has a word of accusation against you, be it if you're innocent or guilty. David begins to help us to see that in the midst of all of this, God's hand never abandoned him. You and I must remind ourselves, even in the midst of wars and rumors of wars, God's hand will never abandon us. God will be with us in those moments of inflation. He will be with us in the moments that all the prices seem to go out of the ceiling, the moments in which we feel like everybody is against me because everything costs more than it ever cost before. And we see consequences that are happening of decisions that people made that impact our lives personally. Well, David is now beginning to see the consequences of life and how it impacts him personally. As you and I see the consequences of life that impact us personally, we must always be mindful that God said he would never leave the righteous forsaken nor the seed begging bread. God will always take care of us because God always has a way to look out for his children. Today in the text, David finds himself in the midst of a situation, but he finds out in the latter part, that God will allow him to triumph. God wants us to know that the victory is in his name. When you and I find ourselves in awkward and precarious situations, let's remember the victory is in Jesus' name. The victory is in the power of Almighty God. It's not to us, but all the victory is for him. So today, whatever seems to be troubling you, whatever you have read, whatever feels like it's pressing on you, Surrender it to God, and God promises he will enfold you with his love. He will wrap his arms around us, and he'll let us know that you and I are always blessed. And we're so grateful in this year of 2022. God has a blessing in store for you. Just walk into it and claim it as your own. I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Fountain.